Hey everyone, welcome back to the place we're testing every single mask on Amazon. And today we're looking at the BLS code protective mask, non-medical use. Don't know what BLS stands for. Maybe we will find out. All right, let's put this guy in the clamp. Got to open him up. Individually packaged to the clamper cam. A little bit different setup than normal. I'll put a link to how we're doing this a little bit different. Um, ah, then our surgical masks. Um, this is more, this is closer to the uh, N95 test. All right, let her rip. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency. If you want to find out more about what this does, check out that link. All right. First of all, let's look at the listing, shall we? Um, not really making any claims aside from the fact that it is a KN95, which is filter efficiency equal to or greater than 95% breathable cup mask. Uh, let's take a look at the box. So the box is interesting, it's corrugated cardboard. And what's cool about that is you can actually ship this box. I know that's like a weird thing to point out, but I know a lot about packaging now. <clears throat> you got the certificate of authenticity right here. KN95 protective mask, non-medical. Um, it does say GB2619, 26, 26, which is the most updated standard, but they are lying because they are not following the GB2626 26 standard. GB2626 26 says that on the actual mask, you have to write the manufacturer name, you have to write KN95, and you have to say GB2626, 26, 2019. Exciting, isn't it? Isn't this exciting stuff? So if you don't see that on there, like typically that, well, I mean, it just means that they're not following standards. Oftentimes, if I find that on a mask, it's not a very good mask, but we'll see here. Airflow resistance on this is really good. It's 102.3 pascals, super breathable. Like we want to see under 150. All right, let's check this out. Those ear loops are plush. It's good, it's not gonna break on your face, I don't think, but if I apply just a little bit, well, okay. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Let's say better than average. The nose wear on this thing's insane. Let's try it on. I don't really love the can. Wow, this is really tight, holy cow. It's so tight that you can actually, you see it's like, it's gapping, right? It's gaping right here. So um, that is, it, this is like for a much smaller face than mine. So I would like, maybe an older child, this would be good for. And then it's a weird, like, it's wider than I'm, I'm, I'm used to. It's probably because what I'm, look at what it's doing to my ear. That's how tight this is. So keep that in mind. Um, and I do the smell here. I'm gonna call this smell recently sterilized ball pit. Definitely a clean smell, but only one reason you wanna sterilize a ball pit. All right. Um, yeah, I wouldn't buy this just because of the, you know, how tight it is on my face. But again, if you have a smaller face, it might work well. Does any of that matter if it doesn't protect you? That's what this machine is here for. That's what you signed up for, I assume. It's probably not for my jokes because they tell the same ones all the time. Uh, all right. Uh, woo, great. Look at that. 99.82. Wow, that's really good. That is really exceptionally good. So, you know. Not following the KN95 standard, uh, not on the EAU list, uh, doesn't fit my face, but dang, if that fabric isn't awesome. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. We are testing every single mask on Amazon, so stick with us. If you see a mask that we haven't tested, hit me up. I got, uh, I got uh, an, uh, an address in, right below and you can, uh, you can send me some masks or hit me up in the comments and I'll, maybe I'll buy them. You know, who knows? I've spent like $20,000 masks, $20,000 on masks. Maybe I'll spend $20,000 more. I clearly hate money. I started a mask factory. All right, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you on the next episode.